concert depression pushes me go she's crying <laughs> do you see my bag do you see my bag <laughs> Day two of the concert. Oh my God, I, I lost my voice. We have the pop up at 11:30. Um, after that, I'm well. Actually, before that, we're gonna get Chick Fil A, get some coffee, some breakfast. Go to the pop up 11:30. Do that for a couple hours. Come back here, get ready, and be at the stadium by 4:30. Hopefully, so wish us luck. Chick-fil-A for brunch. So we're in Vegas. I got this latte, banana latte. It cost me $9.50. We went to Chick-fil-A. This coffee cost me $2.50. My meal together was almost as much as this latte. A pro tip, go to Walgreens, get yourself instant coffee, go to the gym, fill up your cup with hot water using the water machine that they should have. You need yourself coffee that'll last you for a yeah, couple days at $1.99. She's trying to figure out how to run the TV so we can watch it's BTS. It's a smart TV. Here we are. Jenna, what's the outfit? This is what I'm going to wear today. <laughs> they can notice me from afar. But I'm gonna yeah, but they'll really notice you. <laughs> Look how big. Morning after. Morning after. We're headed to the BTS pop-up. Hoping to find merch to wear for tonight. Some army bound for Christina. Shoot. Told you life long. Crazy. Yeah. Never mind. Check out this Starbucks line. <sighs> so that's how we got Starbucks in the can in our fridge. Got that going. Um, Pop up starts at 11:30. We have 10 minutes to get there. We look hungover. We're not. Headed to the pop up. Not really sure what to expect. Thank you, Christina, for driving. I'm a girl. Not the land. <laughs> I'm still in a high. <laughs>
baby. Look at this cutie head. It's so hot. <laughs> Hanging. So she's wearing a blanket. It's yeah. so hot. It's so hot. How <laughs> ironic is this like? Look at her tiny tan shirt she got today. Got my K-pop skirt. Your skirt's so cute. Thank mm -hmm. you. Amazon. Love it. Which is Lazada for the Philippines. Hoping JK gets these flowers. <sighs> Let's hope, please. So much better than SoFi entry experience. Way better. Good job. Good, Good job, Legion. Yes. <laughs>
place to clear it out so we don't walk with a crowd. Please tell them how you did today. Come on. <laughs> you can chew your face. Because <laughs> I saw Jungkook. I saw Jungkook's face more than I ever did in all the other BTS concerts that I've been to. That's all I could ask for is see his jawline that close. The end. Good night. Morning after, it's over. We're all packed, ready to go. We're gonna go get KBBQ really quick. But we're all, it's over. we're all so sad. This always happens after a, P, a I will BTS concert. You just get really sad after. But we should be appreciative, we're blessed. Not a lot of people uh, were able to experience this. So, it's been good. Excuse my pimple patch. Do you have anything to say? I'm gonna major depression. Call my corner. Major depression. <laughs> major depression. Post concert depression. Yeah, it's real. Oh! All right. Somebody wants this. Hi. Permission to play. Our bias. 21 and up. <laughs> While cutting beef, she's crying. The beef, the beef I've seen it all, guys. I've seen it all. I've seen it all. <laughs> The beef is getting her all emotional. <laughs> I know. Bye. To See, Korea. To Korea. <laughs> Last hotel in Vegas before I fly out tomorrow. Thanks, guys. Hope you enjoyed my BTS vlog. Sarangye, Borahe! Hello! Um, it is Tuesday, um, the week after PTD Las Vegas weekend one. I got back yesterday from Vegas. I actually thought my flight was going to be delayed or canceled because it was super windy. But um, anyway, I just am going through a post-concert depression and I think it's so real. Um, and I had like a little bit of an aha moment or like an epiphany, I should say, I don't know. But after the concert, along with my girlfriends that I, that my army girl, they were all feeling the same way. It was their first time, so it's like, a different kind of like post-concert depression as well because it's I'm feeling something different from what I felt when I first saw them when I first saw them it was I was in awe like I can't believe I finally saw them but for some reason this weekend I saw them twice day one and day two I may be crazy and I kind of in a way I mean making fun of myself feeling this way but I was thinking yesterday I'm like happy and sad about the concert. Happy because you're there, you're experiencing it, you're enjoying yourself, you get to see the boys. Of course you're happy, right? But also sad because, so before the concert, you know, as an army, you spend hours watching Run BTS, watching any shows, all their all of their content, Bon Voyage, In The Soup, whatever it may be, all their music video. You just spent hours watching, listening to all things BTS, that you create this relationship with each member, create this idea in your head like, okay, Jungkook's my bias, he's my husband, RM's my, my mentor, J-Hope's my best friend, Jimin's, you know, my 
I go out drinking with Jim, whatever it is, it's like you create this idea, this relationship in your head between you and each member. So you build this connection. But by the time concert comes, you're so excited, they perform, but that connection isn't there. That connection isn't there because we have thousands and millions of other girls around you feeling the same way as you. So you're like fighting for that attention, fighting for that attention, which is obviously one in a million impossible to get. And you're missing that connection. It's not the same connection that you felt as to when you were just at home watching In The Soup, Bon Voyage, run BTS. That's probably just me. I don't know if you feel the same way, but if you do, let me know. I would love to, you know, have this chat. Or maybe I just need therapy, who knows? They are my therapy, they're my therapist, and I may need serious, serious therapy if and whenever they do endless. Um, and yeah, I mean, other than feeling this way, it was such an amazing experience. I got to meet new people. Um, I spent, you know, a lot of time with old girlfriends as well. And the best part about it, it's Vegas and we didn't even need to drink to have fun. And that says a lot. Like, all you need is BTS in order to have fun. You know what I mean? But it's been great. The, we saw the fountain with dynamite and butter music playing and then the we did the pop-up it was scorching hot but it was so good it was worth it it was also free we went to jewel nightclub which was also pretty freaking cool because you go in and it's all bts music and everyone knows the lyrics everyone's having fun and enjoying the music the vibe and it's so great because you know most of my friends aren't bts fans and they don't care for it which is fine totally fine so it's so nice to be able to feel like to to be in a crowd where you feel like you belong like i belong oh my god like she knows what i'm talking about she agrees with me and like we just see eye to eye bore ahead to bore ahead love if you know what i mean so um yeah it was such a great experience i felt like i went on like a retreat or something i don't know and to be honest, I'm contemplating about going next weekend, but I should probably save money for um, if and when they do have a concert in a different city. I'm totally down to do that. Anyway, I'm rambling on. I'm not much of a talker on my vlog, as you can see, but this is something that has just been like in my head and I'm feeling these feelings. And I always like wonder like, I'm 33 and I'm acting like a little kid going gaga over the over this boy band but it's like who cares i like what you like you like what you like and they really helped me a lot and i won't say much but they did help me a lot through a difficult time so i owe them so much if and when bts does watch this thank you